Hello, how are you? Hi. Hi, Mr. Trump, how nice are you? Nice seeing you. Terrific. Nice to meet you. Terrific. You know Billy Bush? Hello, how are you? nice to see you. How are you doing, Ariane? I'm doing very well, thank you. Are you ready to be a soap star? We're ready. Let's go. Make right. me a soap star. How about a little hug for the Donnelly? You just got off the bus. Like a little okay, hug, absolutely. <laughs> Melania said hug this for the was bushy. okay. I just got off the bus. Oh. <laughs> bushy, bushy. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Well, Come you've on. got a nice co star here. Good. Yes. Absolutely. After you. Come on, Billy, don't be shy. As soon as a beautiful woman shows up, he just he takes Get over here, Billy. He's always happy. Here he goes. I'm going to leave you here. I'm okay. Get my microphone. Okay. You can, oh, you're, you're finished? You're my man. Right. Yeah. Oh, Let's good. Reset. I'm going to go do our show. Oh, you want to reset? Okay. We cannot allow ourselves to be so disgusted that we just shut off the TV and walk away. And we can't just sit around wringing our hands. No, we need to recover from our shock and depression and do what women have always done in this country. We need you to roll up your sleeves. We need to get to work. Because remember this, when they go low, we go. Yes, we do. <laughs> and voting ourselves is a great start. But we also have to step up and start organizing. So we need you to make calls and knock on doors and get folks to the polls on election day and sign up to volunteer with one of the Hillary campaign folks who are here today just waiting for you to step up. And young people, and not so young people, get on social media. <laughs> Share your own story of why this election matters, why it should matter for all people of conscience in this country. There is so much at stake in this election. See, the choice you make November 8th could determine whether we have a president who treats people with respect or not, a president who will fight for our kids, for good schools, for good jobs, for our families or not, a president who thinks that women deserve the right to make our own choices about our bodies and our health or not. That's just a little bit of what's at stake. So we cannot afford to be tired or turned off. And we cannot afford to stay home on election day. Because on November the 8th, we have the power to show our children that America's greatness comes from recognizing the innate dignity and worth of all our people. And we are always stronger together. November 8th, we can show our children that here in America, we reject hatred and fear. And in difficult times, we don't discard our highest ideals. No, we rise up to meet them. We rise up to perfect our union. We rise up to defend our blessings of liberty. We rise up to embody the values of equality and opportunity and sacrifice that have always made this country the greatest nation on earth. That is who we are. And don't ever let anyone tell you differently. Hope is important. Hope is important for our young people. And we deserve a president who can see those truths in us. A president who can bring us together and bring out the very best in us. Hillary Clinton will be that president. <laughs> so for the next 26 days, we need to do everything we can to help her and Tim Kaine win this election. I know I'm going to be doing it.